It has been a tough summer for gold, but has it found a bottom? Joining us today is Vince Lancy. He's the Precious Metals Director for TheOpportunisticTrader.com. Vince, welcome back. Nice to be back. Thank you, Danny. Uh, so are you wanting this summer to end so September can roll around and hopefully br breathe uh, fresh life to the gold market here? In, in, in date terms, yeah, it's actually been inverted compared to uh, last uh, year and the year before. Uh, gold's supposed to make its highs in August. Uh, it looks like it's making its lows and we're in a flat trading range. So uh, I would like to have this over. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so looking at the current scenario here with this cur currency crisis we're experiencing with the Turkish lira and whatnot, uh, is this going to breathe new life into the gold market? Uh, one would think that when you look at uh, when you look at the flight to safety concept, uh, as we had with Brexit, uh, people would be buying dollars and gold simultaneously. Uh, that's not happening this time around. And it's not happening for several reasons. One is uh, people are worried about the exit in a smaller market. The second reason is we are in a secular seller's market. Hedgers are hedging. Uh, uh, if you're a country like Venezuela, for example, buying dollars, to, to uh, shore up your own FX reserves, but you have to pay your debts in U.S. dollars, you're selling gold. Uh, gold Corp had a, had a, had a disappointing week uh, with their earnings a couple weeks ago. Uh, I do not think that gold benefits from the current crisis. The bond market and the U.S. dollar are benefiting, and we're, that's because we're tied to the yuan. The trade war is the problem. So, so Vince, is gold a hedge against equity markets now? Uh, okay. Dear investors, gold is not an investment. Gold is not a hedge against equities. Gold is a hedge against currency debasement. If you are long U.S. stocks, it will serve as a hedge against dollar movement. So if you're a U.S. company and you earn dollars and the dollar is weaker from inflation, which we got indications of, buying gold hedges you against earnings margin squeezes. So it's a hedge against the dollar. And if you're a U.S. company earning dollars, it is a hedge against stocks. Okay, well said. So all that aside, Vince, are, how are you trading gold right now? What are you doing with it? Oh, well, first of all, as I said, you know, uh, it's not an investment. Uh, you should own gold as long. What's your holding period for gold? You should own gold as long as you buy things with dollars and earn dollars. A percentage of your portfolio has to be in gold as a hedge. Short term and intermediate term, it's a tremendous trading vehicle. Uh, between 1230 basis December and 12, uh, say, 10, you have a trading range. It's boring uh, to, to people looking for excitement, right. uh, but it's also profitable. Okay, so do you like silver more right now? Uh, or is well, it more at, this of the very same? Moment, at this very moment as we speak, I don't, uh, I'm a little bit nervous about silver. The silver gold ratio, you know, Peter had brought that up a couple of days ago, and, and it's a great, great idea. Um, uh, and I like it. In fact, uh, if gold's going to rally on its own, meaning for metals reasons, silver and platinum, I believe, will lead the way. Uh, the silver market has physical demand in a 1230 uh, cash area. Uh, we are penetrating that right now. So if you're a buyer of silver looking for a day trade, you would buy it right now as we speak, uh, giving yourself a five to 10 cent stop, looking for 20 cents on the upside in 48 hours. Gold is nowhere and continues to be nowhere. If we get above 1225 to 1230 basis spot on, I mean, basis D's on some good volume, you're going to see a short covering rally. All right. But until that happens, we'll you want to just trade the range. We'll see what the next few weeks hold. Vince Lancy, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching. We'll be back next week.